Merry Christmas Eve! Hello friends, welcome back to It Came From A Vlog. Today I'm taking you along with us as we celebrate Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve, tomorrow is Christmas. Using my big girl brain today. We're going to see some of the family tonight for Noche Buena, staying up till midnight, opening some presents, and then in the morning, they're coming over for some breakfast. So right now I'm going to prep the French toast because I'm making my annual overnight creme brulee French toast. It's so good, but it does take some prep because you have to make it the night before. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It is chef's kiss, so good. We look forward to it every year and your family will love it too. Let's do it. Here I've got two loaves of French bread. I like to get it about two days before so that it can sit out and get really, really hard and crunchy because it is gonna soak overnight. It's gonna get really soft. You want it to be crusty and stale and old, which is fantastic because you can buy it and forget about it until the night before you're ready to have it. So I'm just gonna take a serrated knife and cut these. Sometimes it's nice to cut them on a slant, on a bias. It makes them look a little bit fancier when you lay them out. The first thing I'm gonna do is melt two sticks of butter since I'm doubling the recipe and then add in the sugar. Okay, now we've got the butter and the sugar in here and we're just gonna keep stirring it occasionally till it's nice and smooth and some of the sugar has dissolved and we have a nice mixture to spread on the bottom of our pan. Now that the butter and sugar have come together nicely, there's no separation, I'm going to pour half in one pan and half in another. Then you top it with the bread slices. Now we're gonna take our bread slices and put them in here. You wanna make sure that they're touching the bottom so they get a nice layer of caramel. Crammed a couple more in here just because I didn't want to waste any bread. We're going to add 10 eggs. The regular recipe calls for five. We're going to do 10 since we're doubling and then we're going to beat it for about a minute before adding all of the other ingredients. Let's crack some eggs. We're gonna add three cups of half and half, four tablespoons of maple syrup, a two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of orange extract, salt, and some cinnamon. You can sprinkle the cinnamon over the top of the bread after you put this mixture on, but I like to add it directly in, just save some time. I'm gonna give it a good mix till it's well incorporated, then pour it over the bread. I have learned throughout making this for a long time that you do want to make sure that the bread is wet all over the top. So any parts that are dry, I just Kind of, you can take a spoon or your fingers to like push it down and just make sure that it gets wet on top. Otherwise you'll have crusty parts when you go to bake it. All right, now I've given it a little sprinkle of cinnamon over the top. I'm gonna put the lids on it and pop it in the fridge overnight, uh, at least six hours, but really it can go for 12 hours, whatever. However long you need to bake it, it doesn't matter too much. It just might take a little bit of extra baking time to get it to the right consistency. Super easy in the morning to just pop it in the oven and then it's ready. Just made a lovely little berry sauce with some frozen mixed berries, some sugar and lemon juice. I let it simmer and pureed it and it looks and tastes so good. This is gonna be perfect on the side of our creme brulee French toast. I'm gonna jar it up and let it sit in the fridge till we have our toast tomorrow. 
And now we're on our way to my in-laws to celebrate Noche Buena. And we're already tired. Never a good sign. Riley is lit up like a Christmas tree. Baby Addy! Okay, that means... Okay. Bye, bye. Bye. Cheese! Cheese! Bonito todos. Ew! <laughs> so close to licking me. Like, Thank you. Here's a sleepy guy with his <laughs> chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sleepy? <laughs> yeah, sleepy. No, dude. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Remember I wanted one of them that had Play-Doh? Mmm, spa day. Happy. That's the one you wanted. Oh, ready? I can't Open wait this. to do it. Open this. Huh? Daddy, look. I did it. Daddy. Yeah. I think it came out of one of his little toys. This little, but be careful for the baby. She can throw out this. Yeah. Up, 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 up. No. Oh. Isn't that so awesome? Oh, okay. Now you're gonna walk? You're gonna walk, Ari? Yeah, separado. Whoa! Straight top and wheelie. Uh oh, that will be first car accident. Oh! Ah, oh, good morning and Merry Christmas! Sergio's just getting the kids up. I've got the Christmas tree lights on, the garland lit, and we're ready to have a fun little Christmas morning. The baby is all dressed. Look at your crazy hair. Did you sleep good? We woke up to a Florida Christmas surprise this morning. It's actually 55 degrees out and it's windy. It feels amazing. I'm gonna get Christmas breakfast ready for the family. My oven's preheating at 350. The French toast takes about 35 minutes uncovered. You want the tops to get all toasty brown. Then you put the oven on broil, flip it over, and just caramelize that butter and sugar mixture that we made yesterday. It's so good. While I have that heating up in the oven, I'm also gonna throw some bacon that I made the other day, just heat it up, crisp it up, and get that going as well. Then I'm gonna set everything up, the drinks, the whipped cream, the berry sauce. I have some fresh berries I'm gonna cut up too. And maybe I'll make some eggs. That's it, super simple. But I think we might open our gifts with the kids before breakfast. Let's see. Now that these are baked and a little bit toasty on the top, I'm gonna flip them over and pop them under the broiler to get nice and cream brulee.
They're all flipped over so you can see the sugar on top. They're gonna go under the broiler so they have a nice crust. Make sure you keep a super close eye on them under the broiler because they can go from perfect to burnt really fast. Oh yes, they're so lovely. Yum, yum, yum. Any ends that stick up will sometimes burn, but the rest look perfect. So I'm gonna get the syrup and the whipped cream out, and these are ready to go. Got a bunch of bacon, some scrambled eggs. Breakfast is ready. And what would a COVID Christmas be without a family Zoom call? Excuse me, I know I look half dead, but it's the morning after and I am tired, but we're having a restful and relaxing day. I just, it sounds funny because I'm saying that we're having a restful and relaxing day. Everybody's napping, but I just mopped the house and tried to tidy up a little bit. So the downstairs doesn't look too bad, but the kids' rooms look like a toy bomb exploded. So that's fun. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for joining us. See you next time here on It Came From A Vlog. Bye-bye.